Hello there. Welcome back and welcome to another review video. Today I am reviewing these. So these are the four Titanic funnels from China 3D Prints. Uh, so what is in the box? Well, you get all of Titanic's funnels. Um, of course, these are not four copy and pastes. These are four completely different models. Each of Titanic's funnels was subtly different. They were subtly different heights. They had different pipe work on them. Loads of little, tiny little details. Um, and these four funnels recreate those details really nicely. Uh, you also get a set of these. Uh, you probably can't see the, these, but um, these are the steam whistles that sat on top of Titanic's funnels. Three tone whistles, and I will show you some close-ups of these later on. So, over the course of the video, I'm going to be talking through these funnels and the whistles. I'll give you close-up pictures and so on and so forth. Um, so, we'll get on with that in just a second, but before we do, as with all of my review videos, I do want to be absolutely upfront and honest. Uh, these were sent to me free of charge. I haven't bought them, um, but they were sent to me free of charge by China 3D. So thank you sincerely very much for that. Um, but I have reserved the right to say exactly how I feel. So I'm going to be saying good stuff and bad stuff. Um, incidentally, as with most of China 3D stuff, there isn't a huge amount of bad stuff to say. Um, but I always think it's useful to say that at the start of the video anyway. Anyway. Let's crack on. So just before we crack on, one thing to show you is that all of the funnels on Titanic were subtly different heights. Uh, now this is because, um, well there's several reasons actually, partly to do with the um, the bow in the ship um, where the, the centre of the superstructure is actually slightly lower than the, um, the forward and aft ends of the superstructure, um, and also of course deck height, uh, the, the deck housings that these funnels sat on weren't all exactly the same size. And what it results in is having funnels which are subtly different heights to each other. Now this is a, a very difficult thing to capture, um, but this set does it very well and you can clearly see here that this is funnel one and it's quite markedly shorter. We have funnel number two, three and four. Right, so here we have funnel number one, and starting from the very forward part of it, we'll do a little rotation for you. So I haven't removed any support material yet, but you can see, I mean, first off, look at the detail on those, on that pipework, even the, the bolt heads on the top of the joints of the pipework are done. Oh, that rivet detail as well there. More. Very delicate pipe work at the back there. And of course we have the band here that separates the white star buff section of the funnel from the black section of the funnel. This is of course where the uh, the guy ropes for the funnel is being secured down onto the deck locate. And there we are back around. You can see that other very, very fine bit of pipe work there. And then looking down from the top, there's some support material to be removed, but you can see the internals of the funnel there as well. And these look great when there's smoke coming out of them. Uh, now, one thing to say, you might have noticed that there are some bits missing from this funnel. Of course, there was a ladder up the front, which went up to a gantry around about here. Now, these are missing for a reason. Uh, if you've got the KA set, like I do, that set has these parts in and you can add them on. Um, but equally, the, the trumpeter set, as standard, has those parts as well, so you can add those in from there as well. Um, that's a deliberate choice that China 3D have made. Um, those parts get added with photo etch after the fact. Funnel number two now, uh, and largely similar, but as I say, each funnel is subtly different. Funnel number two, for example, doesn't have any significant large pipe working on the side of it. It does have this small section here, but that is about it. Again, that rivet detail. Once these are painted, that rivet detail will be absolutely lovely. 
I will take some still images of these at the end and show them so you get a better idea of that. This sort of fine detail always comes across better on photos than it does on videos, but useful to see these things as well. There you go, funnel number two again, and you can see again that interior detail as well. These will look fantastic when they've got smoke billowing out of them. Funnel number three, the funnel with perhaps most pipe work. You can see all these pipes coming up and then back down again. Incidentally, these actually run off the engine casing that I built in one of the previous episodes. detail. Even the bolt heads and stuff. Detail on that pipe work is just spiffing. And once again, top down, all tickety-boo. And then of course funnel number four, and I'll start on the top. Of course, one of those sort of typical Titanic buff bits of knowledge, Funnel 4 was not a funnel, or at least it wasn't a funnel in the traditional sense of it, of the term. Uh, funnel number 4 did not extract any smoke from any of the boiler rooms. Um, it was, it, a lot, it's, it's, all, it's often referred to as a dummy funnel, um, but I don't know if that's entirely accurate. Um, it was added because White Star Line wanted Titanic and Olympic and Britannic to have the same number of funnels as Lusitania and Mauritania, which were four funnel ships. Um, but to call it a dummy funnel isn't quite right, because what it did do is it provided huge amounts of ventilation down into the bowels of the ship. You know, you have your funnel airflow going straight down deep into the bowels of the ship. Um, and actually, if you look at the Olympic class ships in relation to most other ships of the era, they are conspicuous in that they have far less ventilators on them than most other ships. And that, in part, is owed to the invention of this fourth funnel acting largely as a ventilator. It did have other functions as well. Various steam exhausts did come out of here, but it wasn't a funnel in the traditional sense of the phrase. Uh, and that's why on my model, I'm only admitting smoke out of the first three funnels. So we'll do a close up on this one now. As you can see, case in point of why you're given another whistle set. This was me, it wasn't poor packaging, this was me when I took the funnel out of the packaging, being a bit of a klutz, so apologies for that. But as I say, fortunately we have replacement whistles, so I can fix that in a trifle. And again, beautiful detail, nut and bolt heads on the pipe work, the riveting on the actual skin of the funnel really really is high quality stuff and there we have the top details once again and here we are last but not least these are the steam whistles for the funnels you get four there you go you see Really, really nicely detailed again. And these really are the piece de resistance, you know, they are absolutely lovely. Uh, paint these in a sort of bronzy, brassy kind of colour, and they will look absolutely spiffing. So, what are my thoughts? Well, as always with China 3D, um, I don't think you will find better quality or better detailed parts. I happy to be proved wrong, uh, anyone else who's out there making these products, happy to be proved wrong, but I just, it's difficult to work out how they could be improved. Um, there's none of the normal problems that you get with 3D prints, you know, there's, you can't even see the, um, the lines of the 3D print because they are that high a resolution, so that's not an issue. It's, um, and you know, normally when you are printing things with this sort of rivet detail and stuff, that would be lost amongst the um, printing lines. And it's just not on these because they're so high quality. Um, the detail is brilliant. I cannot see any 
part of these funnels which is inaccurate. Um, and I, I, I'm not, I'm not a, a huge expert on Titanic, but you know, I've looked at photos of these, um, excuse me, I've looked at photos of Titanic's funnels and I've compared them against these and I can't see any errors. I can't see pipework in the wrong place or anything. To me, they look absolutely spot on. So I don't really have any concerns in terms of factual accuracy with these either. Um, the other improvement that these give you, particularly over the um, over the kit funnels, is that these are correct heights. Um, the kit funnels are not quite the right height. Um, and a few people out there have sort of found a way of rejigging the order that you add them, um, which largely solves that problem. But it's still not brilliant, you know, um, and these completely eradicate that because these are exactly the right height. Um, so, as, as always with China 3D, it's it's pretty much gushing praise. Um, detail is absolutely tip top. Um, the quality is just fantastic. Um, I've not had any quality issues. Of course, the only problem that there is is that one of the one of the tones of the steam whistle has snapped off the fourth funnel, but that's my fault. It's not China 3D's fault. Um, so, yeah, loads and loads and loads of positives here. The um, There's a couple of things that I would say, and that is that um, if you are the kind of modeler who really, really gets a kick out of assembling things, then these might not be for you because they are so well put together. But of course, the problem is they're already put together. Um, and if you're the kind of person that really enjoys the assembly side of the modeling process, um, these these do a lot of that work for you and they might take away some of that satisfaction for you. So if you really like assembly, perhaps these aren't for you. Um, the other thing that I would say, um, and it's, it's related to the fact that they're already assembled, um, but with the kit funnels, because they are essentially just blank funnels, they're very easy to paint. You know, you can mask them up very easily and paint them and then add the, all the, 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 the details later on. With these, because all the detail is already on, the painting job will be correspondingly harder because particularly around areas like this, you're going to have to mask off very, very carefully in order to get the right paint in the right areas. You know, your white star buff here downwards and your black here upwards. So it is worth just bearing that in mind because everything's already assembled. Painting does become a little bit harder. So that's something to bear in mind as well. And of course, in addition, the one thing that 3D prints always um, struggle with is support material and support material removal. And whilst it is possible and it is it is eminently doable, I would not be at all surprised if some people order these and then find that they snap off bits of pipework because they were just being a little bit too eager. Um, now that's not really, I don't think it's fair to criticise China 3D for that because it's a nature of the 3D printing process. But it is just something to be aware of, you know, these things are fine, fine detail. Like that pipe work there, for example, that is fine, fine detail. And it wouldn't be that hard to snap the pipe work off rather than its support material. So something to be careful about. But as I say, the thing to do with any sort of support material removal is exactly what Midwest models say, which is to use a hot blade and cut through the supports that way. So overall, I think these are absolutely brilliant. Um, the other thing that I think is great about them is that I feel like the, the Giant 3D is sort of aware that these are very delicate. And because of that, you know, they've given you extra, extra whistles. And I do think that's a really nice touch because as I've already shown, I'm a reasonably careful modeler and I've managed to snap one of those things off. So they are delicate. Um, and something like this really does help. One other thing I would add, if you're a radio control modeler, uh, these are slightly heavier than the trumpeter kit funnels. Uh, not by much, but bear in mind, these are gonna sit so high out the water, um, every little bit of weight does count. Um, I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to fit these on my model and it will still be stable, but notice the lack of certainty in my voice now, you know. Um, we're getting to a point where, you know, th there is a fair amount of weight at the top of my model. Um, 
and there's ways and means of getting around that. And I'm, I'm pretty confident that I will get these onto the model. Um, but it's just something to be aware of. These are going to be heavier than the kit funnels as standard. So there you have it. I shall now leave you with some photos of the funnels.